Well, hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Automotive Insight. So roughly a year and a half ago or so, uh, we did a uh, brake actuator and an accumulator on a third gen Prius. And the comment section was inundated with people complaining that we didn't show the uh, bleeding procedure. So we have another one. We've already done it. So we figured we'd walk you through how to do it. And we're going to try to do this with the Top Don Top Scan. So let's get to it. So one of the steps is to disconnect the level sensor, which is this guy right here. So we'll disconnect it. Uh, another thing that I like to do is I just, to make sure I don't run the reservoir out, I just have a full bottle flipped upside down so that it doesn't run out. All right, so step one is uh, we're going to come back here to our right rear caliper, and uh, you're going to take the cover off of it. It is a 10 millimeter. We'll break that loose and then to keep brake fluid from going everywhere I'm going to use this thing right here so let me try to get it on like that all right go ahead All right, so we'll do the same thing on our uh, left rear. So the next part is kind of a traditional brake bleeding. Uh, you're going to press the brake pedal a couple of times and hold it and open up the bleeder. Uh, once that stroke goes out, you're going to tighten it back up and you're going to do that until you stop getting air out of it. All right, that one was good. We'll do one more for insurance. Go ahead. All right, I'm satisfied with that. All right, we'll do the same procedure on the right front. So go ahead and pop it up. All right, next up is our uh, stroke simulator, which is why we left the cowl off of it. So it's up here on this bleeder right here. It's a 10 millimeter. I'm gonna hit next, okay? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna while holding down. And through the stop, tighten the bleeder. Okay. All right, so we're back on the uh, left front now. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and open this. Okay. 
All right, stop. That did. All right, we'll do the same thing on the right front. And this this stuff comes out fast, so um, just be ready for it. No. Okay. All right. Closed off. All right. So at this point, uh, it's doing its own thing. It's going to take 90 seconds, two minutes, something like that. This is the point where it actually, I should have lowered the car down, uh, take that off because it's going to suck it down and then fill it back up. Uh, I'll try to get it down, but um, that's kind of what's happening right now. So now we're going to wait until we hear the pump stop now and press next. The next screen will lower the accumulator pressure. Same thing, wait until the motor stops. When the motor stops, we'll say next again. Next. Releasing the pressure. Waiting until the motor stops. Next. Releasing the pressure. Next. Waiting for the pressure to drop. Waiting for the motor to stop. Stop. Releasing the pressure. Tank with brake fluid to the max line. No problem. Next. After ABS pump motor stops, turn the power switch off and reconnect the reservoir level switch. Okay, you got. Are you off? Off. Okay. Turn the power switch on. Release the parking brake. Press next to execute the linear valve offset calibration procedure. Okay. So uh, that's going to wrap this one up. You're going to take, you're going to use roughly a bottle about yay big. 
of brake fluid uh, when it's all said and done. And I can tell you guys, I've probably done this job 70 times over the years. And I can tell you that the bleeding process, it doesn't seem like it ever gets any easier. Um, there are always little nuances and subtleties that are different between uh, like the second gen, the third gen, uh, the fourth gen, what tool you're using. It is always, you got to have somebody in the car telling you, reading the screen, telling you what to do, doing the pedal for you. Um, a lot of times it's kind of vague on like uh, whether you should close it while the foot's still on the pedal, uh, things like that. It, it, it always seems kind of confusing, um, but that's it. And uh, that goes to show you that the uh, the top scan, the $99 scan or $69 scan tool that we use, uh, it will do it. So uh, I'm sure several other ones that it says uh, ABS bleeding will do it too. But this is the first time I've ever used uh, th that tool to do it. And I uh, did it just fine. And it did the uh, linear offset and whatever the other thing was that I, don't, I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, I did both of those. So... Uh, Anyway, we'll uh, hose this thing down, uh, get the cow and stuff back on, and uh, this one's done. So anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully we earned a thumbs up from you. Let us know what you think down in the comment section. We have new content for you every single week, so consider subscribing to the channel. And with all that being said, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. just keep making you do that or do I tell you when I've had enough? When the air yeah, I'm fine.